What's going on, ladies and gents? Dalibor here for T3G, and welcome to another App Wednesday. App Spotlight? I think I'm liking App, Sp App Spotlight so far. So far, I'm liking it. Uh, today, we're going to be talking about an app that we mentioned last week. We are talking about Krita. Krita is a Photoshop alternative, and we're going to be getting into it in just a moment. Come, 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 come on. All right, so what we're looking at here looks a lot like Photoshop. If you know Photoshop even a little bit, this is very familiar in a lot of ways. Now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna start and create a brand new thumbnail. The thumbnail for this video, in fact, was made with Krita, so keep that in mind. One of the greatest features of this is that if you already have Photoshop files, PSD files specifically, this already works with it. So if I wanna dump in my existing thumbnails file that I've used for two years now, uh, and we can go right here. Boom, this is the thumbnail I just made earlier. It's got all my layers here. I can just go into it. I can go and edit things. The only thing I haven't found is a way to actually affect the text layers. So that's not really a big deal because you can go in, create a new test text layer. Um, let's just select this. We're gonna say test. We're gonna click up here. That's gonna deselect, come out of the text layer. Uh, some of the shortcuts are not there. You can assign them though. And this is where we're gonna change the, the, the actual colors so that you can see us since we're on a black black background and then we're going to go in here you've got the font options so you could do whatever you need to do with that so all that aside we are going to create a new one we're not going to save this we're going to create a brand new one uh, i've been wanting to change this up so we're going to create a new document uh, it's going to be 1080 it's going to be 72 dpi because it's for the internet uh, and let's see, uh, background color, layers, all that stuff you could set ahead of time. Um, size, predefined pre sizes, all that good stuff. Again, very similar to Photoshop. So I'm just gonna name it Thumbs 2018, and we're gonna hit save, create rather. And I don't really like being so close, so we're gonna, there we go. So. Control plus and minus. So we're just gonna drop some music down and uh, get this uh, design over with. That's the quick and dirty of putting together a new file that is going to be with you for a while. So this is something that now, now that I've got it set up, so okay, we've got these, let's say copies, so we're going to call this, this is the Photoshop, this is, we're just going to say Title 2, this is going to be easier. Title 2. There's fewer options in, in the actual... So there's title, title two, and title three. So now that I'm done with this particular project and I saved that file, uh, now I can have these items here. I'm gonna call this App Spotlight, and that can stay there. And now for Wednesday videos, I can just turn that layer back on. Same thing with uh, with up here. I've got apps. If we're gonna be making a, a thumbnail for the plays video, which is gonna be coming out on Friday, we're gonna hit the plays layer. Super easy. And this is how we've done our, our thumbnails for a long time. We, we have a lot of stuff that's preset and you just toss in a new image, maybe a new catchphrase or something like that, or just the title of, uh, of whatever we're working with. And that's, that's how we end up with our thumbnail. But this is now set. I don't have to mess with this anymore. Uh, the one thing I've, I've, I will say that there aren't as many text options. So just as far as util, utilizing text, you gotta be a little more, little more versatile. For these three layers up here, I actually had to create three separate layers of text. Uh, I couldn't adjust the spacing within an actual text box. Uh, so that's a little bit of a drawback as far as text usage, but again, found a way around it. It's a little bit longer. But if you don't have Photoshop, there is a way to do all this. This is not like a lost cause. 
You've got a ton of tools on the left. You've got a ton of options, layer transformations, things like that. Uh, let's say, let's go over and mess with the, the T3G logo a little bit. My biggest things in Photoshop back in the day when I first started were filters. I'd mess with all the, uh, all the filter, uh, filter types and I would I would <laughs> emboss is one of my favorite thing emboss with variable depth look at that so let's see what we can do here um, let's change this let's, let's go down let's go down to like a let's go down to like 10 is the lowest can we do one no all right so now we got we got this weird thing but anyway so you, you've got all these things you've got features you've got uh, you've got artistic settings you've got adjustments so like if you want to do color balance boom it's right there uh, let's pull in a let's pull in a raw image. So now I will say that this is kind of a drawback uh, in Photoshop. You at least can adjust this and mess with this ahead of time. This is from the uh, the round one preview video for the Midwest Carding Challenge that we're working with. Uh, that you have you have some options here. You've got some uh, some color management things like that. Uh, but I'm just gonna hit OK and we're gonna open it. And let's see here. So here's the photo. Uh, rough. Uh, we don't have a ton of a uh, ton of things to work with, but we're gonna go into filters. We're gonna go into adjust, and let's just go with um, color balance. Like very simple. Uh, let's let's pull pull down the cyans, bring up the magentas here, rock up the yellows just a little bit. Highlights. We're gonna bring it all down. We're gonna bring the highlights down and make this a little cooler image. Mid tones. Or punch everything up real strong so you've got these options you've got my favorite the curves boom color adjustment curves we're just gonna slide this over we're gonna play around a little bit oh ooh, already liking it already liking it all right getting some sharpness out of there now we can go in here let's go into the red layer Let's let's bust out the red here. Going to green, bring the green down. Ah, no, no, too much, too much. But over here, if we bust it up over this way and then bring it down. Mm. Accidents and curves is how you get some of the coolest photos. That's fun. Let's let's undo that. Let's undo that. Let's cancel that. I'm saying you have these options you have all these tools that you would normally expect to have to use Photoshop for so whether you're designing something or you're you're actually editing photos you've got a ton of options and a ton of things you can do with it so the best thing about Krita not only is it free and very fully featured it is also a team of dedicated people that is working to make this a better software and they're trying to do everything they can to really create the best experience possible uh, you've got a get involved tab where you can do everything from development to testing to reporting bugs so if you're experiencing stuff you can report it and that's actually going to help everybody because it's a community-based project now on top of that you've got a ton of resources there's huge resources here this is everything that's just on this page. You want to learn animation, you want to learn how to animate inside Krita, which is something I didn't even touch on. I didn't even mess with that. You can animate, boom, right there. Sell animation. Very straightforward. There it is. Made in Krita. Think about that. You want to learn how to, you want to learn brushes, you want to learn filters, you want to learn masking. It's all here. So yeah, is there a learning curve? Absolutely. For the most part, if you have Photoshop experience, there's not a huge learning curve. It's just a matter of finding where all the little bits and bobs are. Once you get kind of the hang of those little little intricacies, it's pretty straightforward and works pretty well. And again, if you already have stuff from Photoshop, you can always put it in to Krita and keep working on it. But that's going to be it for this one, folks. If you have any questions about this software, if you have any suggestions about other Photoshop alternatives, please drop them down below. If you like this video, make sure you hit that like button. If you're new here, please consider subscribing. We're going to be talking about apps going forward on Wednesdays. On Mondays, we do tech videos. Fridays, we do gameplay. And then we're going to keep expanding the goal, and this is the first time I'm saying this on camera, to get seven days of steady content by the end of 2018. So if you want to come along for that journey, hit that subscribe button, hit that bell for the notification squad, and then we'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching.